don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Lab. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Off-World Research Division. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I uh, fixed the couplings on the heat shield. No problems. We did, however, have another odd experience when I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. down there a bit off. Mumbling, weird looks. In all places just be creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabin next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Access denied.
Marine. Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. I tried everything. The computers aren't responding. I can't get through access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 21.5. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last month alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, they have promised to initiate an investigation, but this news is very disturbing. at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. But there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is Paul Simon, Security Specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Trying to ask the response. Fortunately, due to the security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log.
received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Spectre of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find resources or metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and
Audio log for Jack Smith, benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week. Well, Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and pressured his arm up to the elbow before someone got him. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and you can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on the While it's not my department, I have to assume as well, because according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and above.
generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural... Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely. Without the need for large amounts of electricity, the hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of fuel, in like water, that is more refined than any earthbound spray. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. Sure. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds forever. Mm -hmm.